Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When placing controls into forms and reports in Design View, you will often need to select, move, align, and space the controls. In this lesson, we will look at the ways that you can accomplish these tasks. Before you can perform any of these tasks, however, you will need to be able to select the controls that you have placed into the form. To select a control, click the control. When selected, it appears with a thick orange border with eight small squares around its perimeter. To select multiple controls, you will need to click the first control you want to select, hold down the Shift key on your keyboard, and then click on any other controls that you would like to select as well. When you're finished selecting the controls, release the Shift key. Another way to select controls is to click and drag with your mouse, starting in the blank area of the form. As you click and drag, you will see a selection area appear. Any form or report controls that you touch with the selection area are included for selection once you release your mouse button. To deselect controls that you have selected, simply click into the blank area of the form. If you have multiple controls selected and simply want to deselect a single selected control, then you can hold down the Shift key on your keyboard and then click on the control that you want to deselect to remove it from the group of selected controls. If using the layout view, you can use the click method of selection for form and report controls. However, you cannot lasso them using the selection marquee. When selected, you will not see any of the small squares that appear around the orange border of the controls like you do in design view. This is normal. Note that you can still move, align, and resize the selected controls in much the same way in either view regardless of the minor superficial difference in the appearance of selected controls between the two views. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.